Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. We are going on our summer holiday tomorrow, even though it's not summer, it's autumn. Um, we're going on our summer holiday tomorrow to Fort Ventura. Can't wait. We're going for a week and yeah, I'm just so looking forward to it. I'm a bit nervous about flying with Billy. Like we've been away with him before. We went when he was 16 weeks and that was like a walk in the park. I was breastfeeding and he just fed and slept and just smiled the whole holiday. And it was so relaxing, like actually one of the most relaxing holidays I've ever had. A year later he was 16 months and that was a lot more stressful. He wasn't very vocal, well he was vocal but he wasn't like, he didn't have many words. He wasn't breastfeeding as much, he didn't really have like concrete interests and things, he was kind of fussy eating and you know, he was doing the screaming thing which actually, I know like a lot of people relate to this but like whenever he was, we were in a situation where we were being quiet or like and in a restaurant for example he just screamed at the top of his voice and it was so stressful and what was even more stressful was people actually used to make faces at us and it was just anyway people are really annoying the flight itself was actually okay because he slept a lot like he was still having two naps a day then so he had a good long sleep on the bus on the bus <laughs> on the plane a huge factor was the fact that my mom was on the plane and my brothers and it was just we could just pass him around so it was great actually it was there was like seven of us on the plane and um, so we'd loads of help this time it's just me and peter and billy and i can't wait I'm so looking forward to it but i'm definitely a bit nervous about the flight big change this year is the fact that billy is going to be in his own seat because he's over two which means we have to pay for his own seat he actually has to sit in his own seat so for takeoff and landing and anytime the fast and seat belt sign comes on he has to be in his own seat so we just have to do what we have to do to make sure he does that He's at the stage where he's very strong-willed and um, he loves the word no, he knows what he wants, he knows what he doesn't want, he likes to strop and lose his temper. He's also an, like, an amazing little guy and he's really friendly, loves people. So lots of pluses and lots of kind of um, positives. But it's kind of fear of the unknown, I think. We're trying to prepare for the flight as best we can without going overboard and bringing too much and getting ourselves like really stressed. Um, but at the same time making sure that we don't go without anything. So I thought it might be a nice idea to do a video on what we're actually bringing in our carry-on for him. First things first, this is the bag I'm bringing. So it is a backpack. Now I was going to bring a little case and get one of those trunky things, but after speaking to a few people I realised that actually this is a lot handier because I'm going to have my own little carry-on case, Peter's going to have his own carry-on case, and we're going to have the buggy in the airport. So we don't really have another hand for another case so one of us needs to wear this on our back and I was gonna buy one and then they were like 30 euro and I was like what am I doing here so I just found this it's an old school bag I had it's a jam sport bag it's actually really really handy it's loads of compartments in it and it's fine so I'll show you what we're bringing got my nails done by the way first things first snacks the way to any man's heart via food Billy is no different to that so we have two layers of snacks um, in terms of food, he'll probably just eat what we eat, so we'll get breakfast in the airport because we're flying really, really early. Our flight's at two, half seven, so we're going to be in the airport at like five o'clock. So we're going to be leaving our house at 4 a.m. So anyway, that is what it is. We'll have breakfast in the airport, I would imagine something. And then we might get the sandwich deal and boots in the airport and bring it onto the flight because airplane food is just a bit bleh. But you know yourself, toddlers love snacks, so it's all about snacks. We have healthy snacks. Little pun of the grapes, which I just bought and cut and put in that little container and he loves grapes so he'll love them that's the first thing i'll probably introduce and he'll get a bit of time out of them he might get a whole two minutes next up is carrot sticks how very instagram mother of me but he actually just really likes carrots <laughs> they're actually cooked so they're not really raw carrot sticks he would eat a raw carrot stick one but it would more so be on the floor and on his clothes later today and i just added on some extra carrots so he's just gonna have cold cooked carrots handy little finger food something healthy and something to make me feel a little bit less guilty about, the emergency treat bag. These are little treats that I'm going to introduce bit by bit as he needs them. He loves these crisps. They're just cheapy pound shop onion rings, but he loves them. And he actually, it takes him about 20 minutes to eat a packet a chocolate rice cake, because he loves chocolate rice cakes. Two healthy bars, but that he loves. So these are the, um, the Goodies Organics Apple and Day Fruit Bars. He loves them. And then this is like a cheaper version that I got in deals, but it's very similar. It's just a dried fruit bar. It's called a humdinger bar and you get six of them for like 150. This is so ironic. I'm talking about unhealthy food and I can hear the ice cream van outside. 
of raisins which he loves so all of these are like finger food picky food things that can keep like leave in his lap and he can just do himself i feel really guilty about this i ordered something online from a little etsy shop and it came packaged with the, these sweets and i didn't eat them which is i'm really proud of myself but they're like if we're really stuck and he's losing the plot ordinarily i don't give him all this stuff i give him these all the time crisps i wouldn't give him every day i like there's nothing wrong with giving crisps every day but I try not to give him too much chocolate and stuff because he's one of those kids that really does just get so hyper. The thing is toys. I shop, spent five euro and got just cheap, lightweight toys that I could throw in the bag easily that didn't cost that much money, that I don't care if we lose um, and that he can play with when we get over there. And I'm actually delighted with them. So Billy loves cars. He's obsessed with all things cars. He sits down for hours on his hunkers and plays with these. He has this exact packet from this exact shop and he loves them so he'll recognise them which I think is hopefully going to be important um, and I'm thinking we can put his little tray out and he can play with these on the tray. They're really small, they're really cute and they're really light. Thomas the Tank Engine colouring puzzle so it's actually a puzzle and it's also something you can colour in. They're pencils which means he's not going to want to eat them which means they're not going to be crushed all over the floor. Mr Ryanair mightn't like that um, and I, yeah, I think it's going to be really good and hopefully we'll have it for the way back too. And then next up is these little men. We got these because he loves little figurines and he loves fire engines and anything to do with like Fireman Sam. So while I couldn't get Fireman Sam, although we do have the figurines here, I wouldn't risk bringing them in case he lost them because we've already replaced them twice before. So I just got these. This little car, which makes a noise, which I think he'll love, which the people beside us probably won't love. And again, it's like a police car, so he loves anything to do with police, ambulances, fire brigades. So there's a theme here. Never a massive fan of Peppa Pig. But since we went to see the show last week um, in the Olympia Theatre, he loved it and now he's mad into Peppa. So I got this, seeing as it's something he's talking about a lot lately. It's a carry-along colouring set. Really cute. And it's 150 like. So it's a colouring book with all Peppa things. And then the back of it is a packet of crayons. So it's so light, so handy. And, I mean, where would you be going? 150. He's going to be wearing his pyjamas at 4am when we wake him up obviously so I'm going to keep him in his pyjamas till we get to the airport and I'm going to change him when we actually get to the airport and check in so I have his clothes so he's going to be wearing black tracksuit bottoms which are currently on the radiator over there but they're almost dry these little kind of converse things that are from Clarks that are really comfortable and I love the bright colours and a pair of socks green hoodie again goes with the green of his runner so we've got black tracksuit bottoms green, green, a turtle top just love dressing them my little handbag so just if i have this on my hand on my back and i'm carrying my case but i want something with just my phone and my purse this is handy it's also handy for throwing the passports into and it's just like a satchel so i can just throw it across me earphones because i'm going to download fireman sam and paw patrol and then put these on him and hopefully he will he's never really had earphones on but like i don't want to have his programs on really loud on the plane so i think he will book uh freddie buttons he loves freddie buttons books it's a an Irish series um, and he just loves these stories so it's familiar. Beaker full of his blackcurrant, obviously nappies, wipes, nappy socks in here, a cap because when we get there it's probably going to be really sunny. So I brought a change of clothes in case we arrive and it's really sunny and he's wearing like his heavy tracksuit bottoms because I know the airport and in case we have to um, like wait for a while for a taxi it could be in the sun so I brought him a little pair of shorts and another t-shirt in case he needs a change of clothes. A spare pair of tracksuit bottoms in case on the plane we need to change his clothes and he likes spills his drink on himself or his nappy leaks or something. So Calpol in case he gets a temperature or he's teething or something. I don't, don't want to be stuck on a flight with no remedy. So I just bought a new Calpol. I bought an Aldi with the food shop. And so And it ha it's the one that has the syringe in it so I don't need to bother bringing a syringe which is handy. A bottle to kind of encourage him to have a nap. A pair of socks, soothers. So Billy still has a soother. He would have it all day long if I let him, but I just give it to him when he's tired, when he's gone in for a nap, or when he goes to sleep. So I got a pack of two. Billy only likes these soothers. They're the MAM range, M-A-M, and they're not that easy to find. So at the moment we have three of them. Um, I'm gonna put one in our suitcase as an emergency and I'm bringing these two with us on the um, plane because if I lose it on the plane and I don't have another one, that is not gonna be a fun time. So that's it really. And just because wishful thinking brought this for me. <laughs> um, I have my own hand luggage, but like my hand luggage is pretty much just going to go up in the overhead container because I don't have to think about another bag. And at least because that's a backpack, I can just slide it under the seat in front of me. And all I'm really going to need is my phone, my um, purse, our passports and 
as I said, wishful thinking, but if he's sitting watching Fireman Sam and he's quiet for like 20 minutes, I'm gonna order a coffee or a tea and try and read my magazine for a few minutes and pretend that I'm feeling super relaxed. It seems like a lot of stuff, but actually the bag is only three quarters full. It's not that heavy and I'm pretty happy with it. I'm gonna have a big vlog when we come back. Obviously we're going in October, so the weather mightn't be that nice, but at the moment it's really good. So hopefully it stays really good. We're going all inclusive, which is unreal because Sometimes Billy likes to eat a bit of this, a bit of that, a bit of this, so it's just going to make life a lot easier. And um, wine. Don't have to pay for wine. Whoop, whoop. If you have any tips on like flying with a toddler or just general holiday tips with a toddler, please leave them in the comments below. And um, if you could subscribe, that would be unreal. I'd love that because then you'll get an email when I put up a new video. So I vlog for Channel Mum, so if you could like and subscribe to Channel Mum, there are so many amazing vloggers on Channel Mum and it's just replaced television for me. I just watch them all the time. And thanks a million for watching and supporting my channel and I will see you after my holidays. I might be a little bit more tanned. You never know.